Okay. So thank, thanks a lot, uh, Stefan, for, for the introduction. So it's a pleasure for me to to present this uh, this project that we uh, run with uh, uh, Dimitris and in particular with uh, with the Tommy that was the the, the student involved uh, in in this concrete project. So this is in the context of uh, uh, puppy game. So but with the, the specific focus on educators, not uh, not for the for, for for the students. Let's let's introduce what is puppy game and uh, for. Uh, uh, who uh, that doesn't know uh, puppy game so it, it's a game to um it's a game based system for students to learn uh, uh, modeling and in particular uh, uml modeling uh, so this is in the context of uh, gamification that is not properly uh, for entertainment games but uh, is um, it is a complementary perspective to, to to serious games so in some way we use the game elements the classical game elements, but with not the purpose of entertainment. So we usually we use gamification in our research for uh, foster behavioral changes. Uh, so in different domains, education is one. Uh, so engagement. Uh, so we want to have the student engaged in the overall uh, class and the overall course motivation, and uh, of course uh, to uh, trigger the participation in. Uh, in certain type of activities, uh, including uh, including learning. So gamification uh, has been used a lot in learning and training. Um, so usually uh, in this kind of gamification, uh, the system exploit the game element, the classical one, like the avatars, their words in different forms, like badges, points, and trophies. Um, well, usually in this kind of system, uh, the stress is uh, is given to to challenges because we want to relate uh, each learning activity to the player profile, to the student profile. So, what is the character of the student? What are uh, the needs of the students? And, and to guide the progress using using this type of engagement tools. Of course, with this gamification, we want to reduce the dropout rates of the students. We want to increase the interaction uh, between students and and the time uh, uh, that they consume to uh, to do some task in learning. Of course, uh, the ultimate goal is to have the learning outcomes, so the learning objectives and the performance should should be improved. Uh, but we want to maintain the motivation high, so during the the complete learning. Uh, through feedbacks, uh, uh, through social interaction, and of course the the satisfaction uh, from from the student side. So of course uh, this research um, uh, triggered in the past a set of questions. Of course we want to implement tools for this, and we need to have a scalable software tools for teachers, um, but also for uh, human resources managers because th these are tools that can be used also in companies for employees. Uh, the other side is we want to provide solution for students and employees. So we want to provide software components and the related architecture that uh, make the educational adaptive. Uh, so uh, through the concept of learning paths that we will see, and we want to personalize the learning for each need, for each student, for each employee. Uh, so of course we want to measure the impact of game for education systems, and we want to implement tools that are able to manage cooperative uh, cooperative learning. So we did an experiment with Puppy Game. As I said, Puppy Game is a tool to engage students in software modeling um, uh, with the learning purpose for students uh, to participate in courses and to learn more, to employees uh, to, to deal with the use task and, uh, and to maintain higher the, the training of the employees in a company and programmers to, to, to learn specific uh, programming languages. Puppy Game is an example where we try to integrate uh, gamification in the modeling tool. In particular, we extend the papyrus, the papyrus modeling environment with our gamification engine, and we implemented a, a cell phone contained architecture for, for self-training. Um, and uh, our approach is devoted to three principal stakeholders. So we involve gamification experts that design the game, modeling aspect so the teacher for example that need to specify these uh, learning paths using uh, using puppy game and then the users that are the students uh, or, uh, or the developers or the language uh, the language expert 
So again, uh, Puppy Game is, is composed by six components. So we have the dashboard where you can enter and see the, 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 the game, what is the status in the game, what is the next, uh, the next steps, and of course also the, the, the awards, the points accumulated, and, and some other game elements. So the second component is Papyrus itself. So Papyrus is uh, the modeling environment that you can exploit and where we integrate uh, the, gamification, the gamification component. Um, of course, uh, we need to define games. And for these, uh, we have uh, defined the GDF, so the gamification design framework uh, to specify the rules of the games. And as soon as the game is defined, we deploy it in a gamification engine that is based on the rules. So the last two components are the game master, that is the connector between the game and, and, the, and uh, so the papyrus and the game uh, engine. And the last one is the, is the model comparator, so the components that evaluate in real time and the goodness of the exercise and answer to the specific uh, challenge uh, results to the, to the students. So we support different type of games, and for example, the Angman or on your own, where you model the class diagram and you submit the model and you receive feedbacks, or the flow. So a certain set of activities, uh, learning activities that you need to do in a sequence. But uh, we did some experiments with, with some results from 2020 with uh, involving universities uh, and group of students uh, from different parts of, 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 of Europe. And so, and, but at a certain point, we uh, catch the problem of how we can help educators to specify the games and to specify especially the learning path in a way that adaptive learning is, uh, is the core method to deliver personalized learning experience that address individual unique needs. So we want to define learning paths that are general, but can be personalized at runtime for each, uh, for each student. And for this, we started this project. So Puppy Game for Educators, that from one side, they consider all the aspects related to learning, like competencies and, uh, and what are the actors, for example, the educator and the learners. But the, the important aspect of this project was properly the learning path. So after the conceptualization of these, uh, uh, element, so the learning path that is composed by a set of learning activities that could be assessment activities or simple learning activities like reading material or consult some video or, or do some other learning, property learning activity, uh, exploiting open educational resources. We characterize this conceptual model and uh, on top of this conceptual model, we implemented uh, the, the solution. So the solution is an editor. So let me say an environment for, for the educator. So where the educator can consult already available learning paths, as you can see. So we, we can enter the system and, and we can search by keywords or by tag the available learning paths for, for provided by the different teachers. And, uh, and of course, we can create new, new learning paths from using these, these, this type of, of interaction. So let's see a little bit uh, how, how it works. So of course, as I said, we have the set of learning path available in the dashboard. Um, as soon as we have entering in the system, you can search and you can see also what are related to puppy game, for example. We can, uh, we can also search uh, other learning path for, for topics. Uh, for example, this one that was, was created for the Epsilon object language. Each learning path is a composition of nodes and edges. Each node has a type of activity. For the moment, we support different type of activities, starting from uh, closing and question, coding questions, a kind of study material that we deliver to the student, multiple choice questions, and, and the new practice node. The new practice node is probably the node that we inserted in the editor in order to connect this learning path editor to the puppy game to the puppy game environment. And for each node, you can have an, a, a, a model a screen where you can define the, the, the quizzes, for example, the question and the choices, so the, the answers, including the correct, the correct one. You can share material, so means poor text that you, you can share with the, with the students or links to specific slides or, or material. And you can also open um, open question where you can pass exercises and you need to have 
the correct uh, the, the correct answer. So in this specific project, we extended uh, the um, uh, the editor with the devoted puppy game learning parts. So, th so this means that we introduce a specific node that is the practice node, and the practice node means that uh, you can assign the UML exercise. So with a specific uh, uh, description and 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 uh, as soon as these exercises assigned uh, from each edge you can also express constraints so we added uh, one type of edge that was not uh, defined before that is the ocl constraint edge where you the teacher can express an ocl constraints related to the specific exercise and these constraints will be executed and uh, and checked at runtime by our execution engine as soon as the students is executing the in puppy game and the specific uh, the specific level of the game. So in principle, this editor is, has been created to to derive a set of learning paths that can be shared by by educators and can be delivered to the students. So we we also implemented the way to export this learning path as a JSON file. So this this is the representation of uh, of the nodes and the edges that uh, that we have. Uh, in the learning path and this json would be exploited and used by puppy game when the teacher decided to to run a game and uh, provide the the new learning path to to to, to the student so and this is all from my side so i can leave you some references related to to this work and in general where we applied gamification in in software engineering and then model driven and model driven engineering so i'm here for your uh, questions and thanks a lot for for the opportunity to share this project with you and uh, to participate online uh, to this great uh, to this great event